Yes, that's right. I'm finally doing my uh, second recommendation reviews. I know it's, it's taken me a while. Um, I just well, I've only got around to doing it now, and I'm kind of slow at watching the films. It's not. It's kind of also like you know, just what have I watched? And there might be some ones in there where people broke the only recommend two films rule, and I ended up watching the films, anyways. Um, so let me just hang on, figure out where I left off. I left off Close Encounters the, the last time, so nobody recommended this to me, I don't think, but I also watched The Green Mile, which was absolutely brilliant, um, really, really good, just a, a fantastic film, um, great story, Tom Hanks was fantastic in it, it wasn't as good as um, uh, Shawshank, I don't think, or even The Mist, both directed by Frank Darabont, but um, yeah. Great flick. Um, I also watched Videodrome, which was... I think I've talked about this before, but Videodrome was just... Yeah, that was excellent. Uh, I watched Azumi. Was that how you pronounce it? Azumi? Um, which was recommended to me by... Ah! Ray DVD. Yes, recommended to me by Ray DVD. Watch... What, Azumi, yeah, I really enjoyed that flick, actually. It wasn't perfect or anything, but it was not was a really great little fun kind of um, action flick um, yeah we are uh, very yeah, very much enjoyed that one uh, I also watched uh, Mystery Science Theatre 3000 the movie yeah that was pretty decent um, I watched Gridlocked which was recommended to me by Measuring Stick uh, I didn't enjoy this one at all actually I thought it was a bit rubbish I just thought it was really bland I didn't like the characters I didn't like the story I just thought it was um Really, really rubbish. Um, I mean, it had some okay action scenes or anything, but it was just like, ugh, what do I care? Then I watched uh, The Player with um, Tim Robbins, which this one was recommended to me by who somebody who broke the rule, but I ended up watching it anyways. Uh, oh, recommended to me by, I can't pronounce that, Ken, Ken a Bite Victim? Cenobite Victim? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that was that was a really good flick. That was um, yeah, it was really interesting. Kind of the um, just the uh, getting the inside. It felt like a, a sneak peek into movie studios, um, kind of. And I love the ending where the the film has changed. Um, the film within the film, I guess. Uh, yeah, great flick. Really, really enjoyed that one. Then I watched Crash, David Cronenberg Crash, which was that recommended to me by anybody? I'm not sure. Um, might have been. I know uh, Cook Me A Beer likes one. Um, this, I usually like Cronenberg stuff, but this, was that was too weird for me. I didn't like it. It was just like, no, this is too far. And I think, I think I did watch the NC-17 cut, the, um, but it was just like, Ah uh, no. <laughs> yeah, it was I mean I I get it. I get why people like it, but it was just too fucked up for me. I also watched oh I can't pronounce this one. It's like um it's an anime film I think. Tech Teko uh Tekun Kin Creed or something. Where's the little guy flying in the uh, treasure town or whatever it was called. Um that was recommended to me by Oh, Jade uh Race. Um, this one, I, I actually really like this movie, um, I'm not big into anime, obviously, um, I've mentioned it before and stuff, but I love, uh, Cowboy Bebop, and, uh, there's a few other ones that I've seen that I like, um, and Akira and stuff, but, this was really good, I've never heard of it before, um, but I really enjoyed it, it was, um, the ending, I didn't know what was going on in the ending, though, um, but other than that, I thought it was a really good flick, it was really fun just to watch it was yeah it was a great little flick. Um then I watched I know, uh Manhattan. Yeah. Um okay I don't think anybody did recommend that to me but it was oh that was so good. Manhattan I love that. Um I actually prefer that to Annie Hall. I don't know I think Annie Hall is generally that's the consensus that that's better. But I preferred Manhattan, it was just more down my alley. 
uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I don't think anybody recommended to me, but that was that was a lot of fun. That was um, that was really good, um, and it was uh, it was just oh, I don't know. The, kind of the last half hour, it kind of lost me a little bit, but I, I'm not sure why because it's not like it dropped in quality. It was just I don't know. Yeah, well, that was a lot of fun though, you know. All the the songs. How you do, I'm a, I'm a sweet transvestite from transsexual Transylvania. Yeah, um, I did that again. Network. I watched that too. That was recommended to me, kind of informally by uh, Solo Twenty Four and someone else. The guy who recommended me, the player who broke the rule. You recommend? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cenobite victim. That was really good. Um, that was interesting. That was. Uh, um, I don't know. The ending was really weird. Like I did not expect that coming. Um, but yeah, it was a really solid flick overall. Um, I don't know. It was like. It's really hard to describe what that film, how why it was good, but yeah, I did. I liked it a lot. Well, for anyone who cares, nobody recommended this to me, but I watched Star Trek Two: The Wrath of Khan. Khan. Um, yeah, I really good. I really like that actually. I'm not a big Trekkie or anything, um, but that was a good, good, good flick. It was. Um, I think I would have liked it more if I was a Trekkie, and maybe had I seen the episode that Khan was in in the original series. I've not really seen any of the original, original series. Um, I also started watching the TV series Freaks and Geeks, which was recommended to me by Cenobite Victim. He's making a lot of appearances, and someone else, I think. Oh, I, well, I think kind of Cinematic Adventures, Kayla, sort of recommended it to me. Um, but yeah, I started watching that. That series is so good. That was a, just a brilliant series. Really, really good. Probably one of the like most realistic teen dramas, because it doesn't. I mean, I like a good kind of soapy teen drama. You know, I watch Gilmore Girls for Christ's sake, but this doesn't like soap anything up, or, or so far at least, it doesn't make it overly drama. E, if you know what I mean. Um, it's like it's just uh, the way like you know, the little geeks. The I can kind of relate to them a bit, um, especially the. You know, not wanting to play sports or anything, but it just, uh, it's very, if you're like a geek or anything, or obviously maybe you're, if it's tried to be, um, then it, it's very, uh, it's going to be very relatable, uh, even though it's set in the 80s, and the music in that show is brilliant, I love it, they, they use some good music, and I think that's the reason why it hasn't been released in the UK, uh, is music rights, which is a real shame. Um, but yeah, that's a fantastic TV series. I uh, don't think I've started watching any of the other series that were recommended to me last to check. Okay, yeah, that that's that's it for recommendation reviews too. Who knows when we get the third one? Could be a long while yet. I still got a lot of films to watch. Um, that's it. Um, DVD update coming soon, hopefully, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.